Hey everybody, America's favorite redneck asshole pissing people off since 1970. Friday night. Man, it's been a day. Got around, packaged up all that deer jerky that I did in the oven yesterday. 16 pounds worth. Uh, some of it was spicy, some of it was just the regular. Anyway, um, getting out and about. Got ready, getting ready. Got my turkey, got my ham. Got my stuff to make dressing, getting ready for Thanksgiving next week. Got some great news, finally. We have gotten past the second to the last hurdle of getting in stores. I did get my number today. I got it about uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, that means that I have to get those numbers printed, get ready to do labels, and the final walkthrough is going to be in about two weeks. So we're going to be in stores before Christmas. Now, I can't guarantee you that it's going to be anywhere that you people are or where you're at or what have you. But anyway, it's moving forward, and we have got the official go-ahead. Little Man Jerky will be in stores starting mid-December. That was a great, I mean, just a great day. Finally got through the, the stupidity and the bureaucracy that it took, and here we are. So, <clears throat> anyway, great day. Um Everybody's like, you should be jumping up and down. No, it's been a four-month fight, and it should have been about a 10-day fight because we've done this before. But anyway, it's a great day. We're moving forward. Uh, big weekend. Uh, deer sausage and stuff going to be cooking. I did do some modifications to the ovens. I finally got some uh, uh, oven door seals in to help quit smoking the shop up so bad, as well as uh, some other things. So moving forward. Anyway, I hope everybody had a good week. Temperature is the same. It's cool. Still got my fire going. And tonight, I need a little help from everybody. Um, I'm trying to debate. I do my salsa in glass jars. Glass is expensive. It's a whole other process of trying to get it done. You have to cook the salsa, let the salsa cool down a little bit, put it in your jars, seal it, lids, rings, wait, and then label it. And then shipping is a nightmare. Glass is not, the USPS thinks it's football. And they break it, cost me money, they don't want to repay it when you file insurance, it's crazy. So I am debating on putting it in bags. And I know that is something that's odd for people, but this is the exact amount. I dumped a pint jar, 16 ounces of salsa in this bag. That's the salsa label. This is a bag, I put it in here. If I were to do it, it'll have a zipper top. I just did this so I could abuse it over the weekend and see if it will stand up to shipping, handling, things that are going out there. So I need everybody's opinion. The, if you've seen this salsa, I mean, I know everybody hadn't tried it, so it might not be your favorite. You might do, be a Pace fan. If you are, I'm sorry. But anyway, if you were a jerky salsa fan, would you buy it if you seen it in a bag? If you're a fan, you probably would anyway. But if it, if it was something, number one, it won't be sitting on the shelf. I don't even have one here. It wouldn't be sitting up there on a the shelf. It'll be out on one of them clip strips, and there'll be several of them hanging there, so it would be you know, out there so you could see it. But is it something that people might buy in a bag? I don't know. It's kind of like the spices. I'm going to the spices. It's... It's less expensive for me. It'll be less expensive to the consumer also because if I can do it cheaper, I'm just going to pass those savings on. So, again, I need some help. I need some replies. Would y'all tell me, if you if you were out there and you saw salsa in a bag, would you buy it compared to the ones in the jars? Or would that throw you off? Anyway, that's what I had tonight. That's something I got going. Like I said, I'm going to abuse this bag this weekend because I need to make sure... That if I put it out there, it don't do like the glass does and bust in shipping. Because they they just absolutely will play football with it. So that's what I need to know. You can see I'm, I'm abusing this bag. I've thrown it. I've dropped it. I've done all kinds of things. And this is just a regular seal. So anyway, give me y'all's opinion if you don't mind. Uh, the hogs do play about this time tomorrow night. So we'll see. I'm supporting. I'll be supporting tomorrow. I'm always a hog. Always will be. Win or lose. Anyway, hope everybody has a good weekend and a great Friday night. Go hog, get you some.